Hey everyone, welcome back to Error Genie. If you're having trouble launching Indiana Jones and the Great Circle on the Xbox app, Microsoft Store, or PC Game Pass, don't worry. I've got you covered with a step-by-step -step guide to resolve the issue. Let's get started. Step 1. Check Xbox Live Service Status. Open the link in the video description to visit the Xbox Live Status page. Ensure all services show as up and running. If there's an outage, yellow triangle or red icon, wait for the issue to be resolved by Microsoft. If no outage, proceed to the next step. Step 2. Disconnect external devices. Unplug any external devices you're not using, such as controllers, USB adapters, gaming wheels or pedals. Try launching the game after disconnecting these devices. Step 3. Switch to single monitor setup. If you're using multiple monitors, disconnect all but one. Test the game with a single monitor connected. Step 4. Close Background Applications Open Task Manager. Right-click Start then Task Manager. Identify and close unnecessary third-party applications or overlays, e.g. Discord, GeForce Experience. End tasks for overclocking tools like MSI Afterburner. Step 5. Perform a clean boot open system configuration. Search System Configuration in the window search bar. Go to the Services tab, check Hide All Microsoft Services, then click Disable All. Restart your PC and try launching the game again. Step 6. Repair Gaming Services. Use the link in the description to download the Gaming Services Repair Tool from the Xbox website. Run the tool and follow on-screen prompts. Launch the game to test if the issue is resolved. Step 7. Update graphics drivers. Visit your GPU manufacturer's website, NVIDIA or AMD. Download and install the latest drivers for your graphics card. During installation, select Custom Install, then check Perform a Clean Installation. Restart your PC and relaunch the game. Step 8. Verify game files, open the Xbox app. Find the game in your library, right-click it, and select Manage Then Files. Click on Verify and Repair, and wait for the process to finish. Step 9. Reset and Repair the Game. Go to Settings, then Apps, then find the game in the list. For Windows 10, select the game, click Advanced Options. For Windows 11, click the three dots beside the game and choose Advanced Options. Choose Repair. If this doesn't work, select Reset. Step 10. Clear Microsoft Store Cache. Open File Explorer and navigate to C colon users backslash your username backslash app data backslash local backslash packages backslash Microsoft backslash Windows Store asterisk. Delete the local cache folder. Restart the Xbox app or Microsoft Store and try launching the game. Step 11. Sync date, time, and region open settings then time and language, then date and time. Enable set time automatically and set time zone automatically. Click sync now. Step 12, update Windows and Microsoft Store, open settings, then Windows update and click check for updates. Open the Microsoft Store, go to library and click get updates. Step 13, reinstall gaming services, open PowerShell as administrator. Use the commands provided in the video description to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Once reinstalled, restart your PC and test the game. Step 14. Additional troubleshooting. Install the Xbox Identity Provider app, link in the description. Start or restart necessary Windows services, such as gaming services and Microsoft Store install service. That's it for today's troubleshooting guide. If this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe to Error Genie, and hit the bell for more step-by-step -step fixes. If you're still facing issues, drop a comment below and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.